But yeah, you know, this is we've mentioned it before uh, earlier on, but I think we had, um, what was it? We had Troco go up against, what was it, uh, Zenpak, I think? Was that Troco in that? It was Troco in that series yes. too, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 Troco's really already... getting, the, getting the Jimmy gauntlet tonight. Yes, We're really, like, <laughs> testing his matchup knowledge on this character. Are we watching the Jimmy Danny Power Hour? Nah, that's not as good. Never mind. Um. Oh, that would have been that would have been fire. I would have loved that. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh man. We're never gonna see the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour in this game. But that's a no. that's a different discussion. Of that's a that's a whole other that's a yeah. discussion for another day. Not but, opening uh, up that can of worms, but uh, nope. yeah, here we go. Jellyfish Fields is the pick. I think this is a good stage for actually both of these characters. I yeah. I thought it was a good stage for Danny, even like a repass before like his teleport recovery was as crazy as it was. Now I'm interested to see how like that increased distance is going to like really make or break on a smaller stage like this. Leviathan though, I have played this player on rank before. This is the most oppressive Jimmy player that I've ever played in my oh. life, and I've played and that's why. so many times. And that's why he he gets those. I've I've seen the clips. The 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 Goddard combos he gets are just nothing short of like just beautiful like they're they're always they always look so cool and like it i don't i like being on the other end of, i can't even imagine being on the other end of it like i can't yeah. even imagine that <laughs> troco just like get your dog out of here i don't just, want him see him just like crying his eyes out in the corner Oh like God. over at this dog right now, just off the level, able to get the Goddard drop right there. I gotta say, you know, this is definitely the most aggressive Goddard play I've ever seen. You know, like, I've played Senpak plenty of times, I've played against some other Jimmy's. Leviathan is the one who up close is already terrifying with the way those forward strong, um, those forward strong air strings work with the slime dashes. But in between, like, the way he, he switches between Jimmy and Goddard so fast to just keep the pressure on. I mean, like, I feel like he's the one, like, really playing Jimmy to his full potential better than any other Jimmy for sure. The one who really plays full-on puppet character, I am controlling two things at once. Would have been a oh, great yeah. Isis player, truly. Ab <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I feel like for for what Jimmy was advertised as in the trailers, I feel like he is the one that showcases most, just having so much synergy between Goddard and Jimmy, uh, and just maximizing all like every possible avenue those two can bring but right now uh we're seeing Choco with a pretty sizable lead oh never mind all right so it's even right now um you know just like that which is okay i mean either players you know we got you know anything anything goes all oh, these up airs up airs though terrifying thing about Jimmy is that, like, you know, this character's sort of like a puppet character, but, like, he can combo the absolute hell out of you when he's up close as well. And when you're yeah. playing the lightest character in the game, or borderline lightest in the game, like, uh, like Danny, if you don't watch your options out of take advantage properly, you're gonna be dying at some pretty crazy earlier percent. If he just, if Leviathan felt, felt like it right there, instead of utilizing that opportunity oh! without Goddard, he could have slime dash up there, potentially, to even get a toast on him. He recognized it probably wasn't a smarter option, and maybe it wouldn't have Work, which is why I didn't do it. Oh, but it was crazy! Oh my, oh my god! god. Oh, no, no way. Leviathan, you're sick. I, I, I just can't. I can't even believe you. Like, I just. I. The, oh my god. That is the kind of thing you want to see. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a frame blast right there. Think, he figured think, it out. Think. think. Oh my god, my throat hurts now. Not to mention the fact that the fact that Jimmy is so heavy too. Like he's living a Danny up smash there. My God. Yeah, definitely. Unexpectedly so too. Like you wouldn't think a character. You wouldn't think uh, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius over here would ever be as heavy as he is. But you know the numbers don't lie. Maybe it's just it's probably just this giant head carrying all that weight. <laughs> giant head or the fact that he has like a million different gadgets inside of that backpack and all his shoes and whatnot. Because at first I was like, I was mad about it too. I was like, yo, why is Jimmy so heavy? But then I thought about it logistically and I'm like, no, oh, it actually makes sense. Yeah, big head. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Stop, we almost saw stop, it again. stop, 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 stop. We almost oh, so saw it again. It, it's okay. He has across the stage teleport cancels. Yeah, it's all right. You know, he can easily, he can easily deal with Jimmy's tools, but at the same time though. And did you like... see the way he double jumped out of that strong forward air right there? Yeah. He was going for a um, he was going for a teleport cancel into a uh, up strong out of that. That's a new setup that Danny actually has. He can do up throw, strong forward air, and he teleports immediately afterwards because oh, of the way that move sends. Then you slime cancel it, you die. Uh, he's he has deep, unfortunately. I guess so. That's that's twice in this tournament right now. That's unfortunate. But hey, you know, Leviathan can just do that. 
and just completely decimate Trouble off the top of the stage. Didn't even, didn't even burst that. Maybe it just, probably just wasn't even, it's not even worth it at this point, considering like, you know, you need that for your next, you need that for your next song, like next stock combos. And, like, either confirms. that, either that or he just didn't react to it. He like, Leviathan actually did use a slime dash to be able to make it all the way up. There. Perhaps oh, he didn't expect it. Leviathan what? to utilize his resources right there to do Excuse that. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me. What, what percent was that? I actually missed it, but it's okay. I'm looking at it at the left right here. I'm going to get a confirmation for you on that really, really quickly. It was above 70%. I can confirm that for you right now. That was like 70 to 80. That was It was that 77. Was 77. That, you're dead at 77, dude. I, I pound think, strong. I got to be honest. I think he caught his GI. Maybe. J Jimmy, Jimmy should not die there to that. No, no way. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't, like, that doesn't make sense to no. me. No, I, I think he honestly just got caught lacking for a second and just GI'd sort of left to get away as he was holding he was holding left to get away from the uh, the plasma ball already. Like he was trying to make sure Danny couldn't get a combo off of it and maybe he just kept holding left. I I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I agree, Jimmy being one of the heaviest characters in this game, I feel like he shouldn't have died to dash attack at that percent. Either that or Danny really is just that cracked. Yeah, Who knows? maybe we'll never know. We will never ever know. Yeah, the world may never know. And that some secrets are just meant to be kept, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. You can't handle secrets like that, Jimbo. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. <laughs> I love it. I've got a creepy feeling, man. That's rough. <laughs> it, 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 that's rough, man. I mean, I will say, you know, despite us praising Jimmy and praising Leviathan, as he definitely deserves... Danny is just Danny. Danny Danny does Danny things. Danny kind of does whatever he wants. Yeah, sometimes. he really does. We got Zing Zang even confirming for me in the chat. Like, no, nah, his dash attack just kills really early. And like, yeah, it does. But like, I... I... I, 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 I that surprised me too, man. Like, Jimmy yeah. just being the weight that he is. I didn't think so, but... The question is the counterpick. I like this counterpick a lot. Yeah, this is good. This is a very good counterpick. Um, I'm surprised he didn't ban it. Yeah? If I'm being completely honest, like... This was, um... This is Leviathan's, right? This is Leviathan's pick, yeah. I'm really surprised yeah. that, that, uh, Troco... Troco didn't actually ban the stage right here, because Danny can do well on small and big stages. I am of the belief that, for the most part, he really doesn't have bad stages, but he has stages that can be bad, depending on the matchup. And this is definitely a stage that I feel like would be bad, depending on this matchup. It's not a surprise that he decided to leave this stage out here in the... Uh, out here in the running for us, but hey! Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe. Who knows, but right now we're once again seeing Trogo with a pretty sizable lead on Leviathan. But, you know, like I keep saying, I'm a believer. You know, I feel like anything's possible in, in a game like this. Um, then again, though, just like both these players can deliver, like, deliver so much pressure on each other. But it's really up to, it's really up to Trogo whether, like, you know, how much he wants to go in. Oh, that's a dev. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Anything. gonna make it back. Anything in this game more tilting than getting hit by the punch of Danny's plasma ball and having it combo into the plasma ball itself. Yep. Is there anything more tilting to get hit by? Uh, I, I got nothing. Honestly, that's... <laughs> right? I'd, be pre I'm, I, I'd be pretty infuriated, too. I'd be pretty upset. It's but, just uh, such a good move, man. Like, and now it actually... Even yeah, now it even goes through platforms with the changes in this patch, actually. You can actually, if you space it properly in between platforms, it carries through them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's gonna do it off the top right there. That's such a good, that is such a good call-out option for people who are just up, like, hanging out on the top blast zone. Just like, no, get down from there. I'm, I'm sending you to space, whether yeah. you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, any fans of love space. Oh yeah, he does. He wants. He wanted to be an astronaut. Yes, he did. Yeah, so he he doesn't mind. Nah, he, he, is, he doesn't mind. He's chilling. He's, he's, he's big. He's big chilling. Oh wow! Oh. I was gonna say, look at the knockback of that dash attack. He actually he had the burst Ooh. out of that. Oh man, Good it looks attack. like looks like Zing Zang was right. That was absolutely nutty. My goodness, the fact that that was almost gonna kill Jimmy, and he literally went to this stage because it's bigger too. Yeah. That sucks too to like literally go to the stage because it's bigger and then to still die to that at such crazy percents. Yeah, well, shit. It's like, like now, now we'll I still gotta, I still gotta watch it out, dang. But uh, now my brain got blasted. Seriously, and that just, that just happens. 
uh, against a character like this, you know, in your face. Yeah. Not stop pressure. And the thing is, this isn't even a bad stage for Danny either. It's just I want to think that maybe with this matchup it could be a little better for Jimmy, but, you know, too little too late, really. It's like just interacting with Danny is just something you just got to really try your best to not do. What you really got to rely on is just trying to get those early stocks against Danny as best as you can. Dan Jimmy can take advantage of his weight, but it's just getting in on him and just getting out of disadvantage against Danny in the first place to, you know, get to that part of the match. Yeah, trying it so hard just to get through. Uh... And the fact that he can make it back to stage like that for free right now as well, like, he used to at least, you know, like, before with the RP being what it was, like, it, you could, like, it was a little more predictable or even in some cases reactable, but now with, like, it going as far as it does, the fact that he can just teleport through all of Jimmy's ledge traffic and just not give a damn about it, it's... What is the board he used to do, man? Yeah, not, there's like, you know, not many solu- there's not many solutions to a thing like that, so... Uh, I mean, Leviathan has to make something happen right now. He's kind of, you know, if, uh, if one decent hit from Danny will do it, I think. But, um, you know, anything is doable. Um, uh, that pressure. I love that F-Tilt. That was really, really good F-Tilt right there. I feel like other Dannys would have tried to wave land onto the platform and, like, do, like, a middle option, like, up smash or something, or down smash, as you see right there, or the down strong, I should say. But he doesn't even need to do that because of the fact that F-Tilt hits in both directions. All right, the uh, Bubble Mobile are gonna take that stock. Uh, even stocks, but you know, I feel like uh, basically one good meaty hit will do it for uh, for Leviathan. So he does so much damage to Bottom as well with the forward strong. He can he can just jump immediately out of that to just take the pressure back on Jimmy or just get another quick hit out on Goddard. And because of the way Danny oh, the is, grab. it's so rough for Jimmy to catch on. Danny's grab range is not the best. If there's any bad thing you will say about the character like the, that they did to try to balance him is that his grab range is no good. It's definitely something to think about when you're fighting him. God, just, just getting rid, gotta get rid of the Goddard. Just like, I respect the plan. Just like, all right, well, like I said, anything anything's possible. And uh, right now, Leviathan actually has the stock lead, um, but that could easily, easily go down any moment now. But, you know, Leviathan keeping up the pressure with the Toast Launcher and also keeping Goddard in play. Troco not really tending to Goddard. He's just kind of letting him out and kind of paying for it, I think. I think it's because on the last stock, he actually died because he focused a little too hard on Goddard and Leviathan picked up on that and was able to just get that kill off the top of the really early percent because of how light Danny is as well. That's the thing. The if you focus, focusing too much on Goddard can actually be That's pretty it. bad. Because then you just get caught up too much focusing on him, and that's when Jimmy just runs in and does it when your attention's divided like that. That wasn't even a strong up air. No, that was, just a, that was just a regular up air. Just, 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 you're done. Still one of Danny's better stages. I mean, I know Jimmy's not going to die to any light move there at that percent. With how heavy no he is. No way. Not no even way. Danny's. Wow. Yeah, I mean, so like I said, it might be a good stage for Danny, but I think, you know, it's a good stage for Jimmy in that matchup, too. That was, that was just clean. Absolutely. Uh, well, right now we're see it's gonna it's one one. Uh, anything goes, honestly. Anything um, goes, ladies and gentlemen, in the great game of Nasby. You add you add meter to a platform fighter. What else did you expect besides the sickest things of all time? Absolutely. In my, humble opinion, my humble, my humble opinion. Sorry. All right. Absolutely. Question so, is, where, where do you do think? For game three? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, hard to say. I feel like, um, hmm, it's Troco's pick, so... Yeah, because Danny can do well on big stages. Uh, you know, maybe... What's it called? Pariahs? I would ban that immediately if I was Leviathan. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, that is, one, that is a really good stage for Danny. Yeah, I feel like that's something Troco might go for. Uh, if he doesn't ban it, but who knows? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I mean, if he doesn't ban it, that is definitely where I feel like Troco should go. Uh, despite Jimmy being like, sort of a big projectile heavy character, which tends to be favored on a stage like Pariah's due to its lack of platforms and its length. But Danny, with the way his mobility is, it's just such an amazing stage for him. Like, I, do, I don't remember who said it. Like, it, I might have been Happy Milo who said that Danny is a war crime on that stage. <laughs> I think it was Happy who said that. Forgive me if I'm misplacing that, but I'm 90% sure it was him. 
Uh, yeah, so that might be the one, if, uh, assuming that Leviathan doesn't ban it. But if he does, hmm. Rooftop yeah. could be okay, but I wouldn't pick that personally against Jimmy, like, with the overwhelming nature of it. I would say, you know, Miracle's iffy as well. I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, got it. Yay. No, I, I was, I, yeah, no, I, 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 I called it. Yeah, no, I totally called it, right? I totally didn't say maybe Miracle. I said maybe. definitely Miracle. That's absolutely what I said. Yeah, let's go into yeah. this. Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, you got it. Yeah. I uh, don't no. There wasn't any uncertainty in that at all. No, absolutely well none. I was like full on flesh. It was the, I think it was the first thing I said. Oh, what a oh, beautiful mix up side God. beat. I love the creative of, I love the creative nature of that combo. That was really, really good. You can utilize that off the level. And it's got really good like usage too, because you can mix up the timing of the punches. So if like you can react if they're drifting in to get the punches, react if they're drifting out to get it earlier. Or if you want to cancel nah. it, you can just do the punches earlier. Nah, get it go right there off the top. Neither is that ghostly whale, but uh, I feel like anything might do it for anything might do it for Le Leviathan right now. But you know, as we've seen, you know he doesn't go down easily. He is he doesn't go down without a fight. That um, wave dash is so smooth to get away from that grab. Um, holy moly! Yeah, for sure. That was so smart. The scary thing about this stage, I will say though, is that last zone wise, it I feel like it definitely favors Jimmy. Like, Jimmy is a heavy, heavy boy. He's going to live a little bit longer, but I feel like that's not going to matter too much considering how insane Danny's setups are in general and on this stage. Danny has a lot of room to work with and just, like, play around, wave bounce and, like, be reverse those uh, plasma balls over and over again to control space against Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy has a lot of space to do his thing, too, but, like, with the way the Jellyfish game went, I'm not sure if he necessarily needs it. This, this is just going to be an explosive match, if I had to guess. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it, it already is explosive, make no mistake. But on a, on a stage like this, it's like, yeah, absolutely. All right, not... All right, get a... You know, get Leviathan off. All right. No wave lands onto the platform. Just going to utilize an up, uh, up air in the air to try to get some space there. And just fastball with the nair. Really wonderful job. All right, that air is going to take it. 204%. See what I mean? Yeah, I, I see it. I, I totally buy the I buy this pick for sure. He's gonna live. He's gonna live here for sure. This is why. It's, while it is a good pick, oh. it's also scary. He had to up be immediately. Otherwise, that was gonna be a dead face for sure. But the ball okay. throw, all it's yeah. gonna take right there to be able to take that stock. At that percent, yeah. you already know. Yeah, you're done. Uh, it's still a 212. That is such a high percent for this character. Like once again, just you wouldn't think you wouldn't think of him living this long, but he just he does. He he makes it happen. He's got a jetpack in that backpack, man. It's just, it's just heavy. Yeah. It's giant. It's his giant head. Oh my. Really, really scary to get hit by Danny this close to the ledge with the strong forward air like that. Because you never know when he's just gonna feel kind of like you know ballsy and just pop that slime dash cancel. A beautiful recovery from Troco right now. Just like I feel like Leviathan wanted something but got it off stage. But um, Troco does a really good job making it back to stage and just making things happen like that. Like such good burst movement right there. Yeah, Danny's mobility is awesome. insane. I love that up smash right there. Not up strong. Nothing gonna do it though, man. Just reversals yet again. Goddard, <laughs> Goddard, the Goddard explosion catching Troco off guard was pretty funny. <laughs> Like, because he was so focused on hitting Leviathan, but it's just like, Goddard's still on stage. He, he could just explode. You know, maybe not gonna kill, but still put you in just enough of a tight spot. Yeah, uh, it's definitely a situation you're aware of. Like, to make sure you gotta take care of that while and guarding somebody yeah. else. But. Yeah, it's a, the, the thing I've learned about fighting, like, Jimmy is just that Goddard doesn't have, like, a bubble, like, with, like, an icon or something to make, you know, to, like, let you know where he is. So you can just pop up from nowhere and just completely just put you in disadvantage like that oh, yeah. and uh especially from like if you're already at, oh, no way all right <laughs> if you're already edge guarding someone and you can't you can't see him coming so yeah sometimes though i feel like every time it does happen i feel like i already see him but some there are those situations where like the camera is too close and it's just, and you know you pay for that yeah and on a big stage like this it's definitely gonna make it that much more iffy you know, I always felt like in this matchup, it's kind of like Danny is feeding the meter against Jimmy because, like, yeah, like, he could, like, be, he could be all over him pretty much the entire time, but unless him being all over him is leading to kills, oh, no! unless he's getting his kill oh. confirms, it's not going to matter because of how heavy Jimmy is, but it's not going to matter even more if he SPs for the top eight qualifier. You hate to see that. 
That is so unfortunate. Le Leviathan has to make something happen now. There's no choice. Okay. That's a good start. Really good start right there. <laughs> okay, I like the idea. I like yeah, the I idea. It's like, yeah, there's not that much, you know, like, uh, respawn and vulnerability in this game. Maybe this will work. But, you know, Choco still got the numbers, you know. The chab, I the laser. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! no! Oh my Suck god, out. suck him in! He looks like a ghost! He's not a ghost! Shoot him out oh. that shit! Oh my god, Troka, you did not just hit the Fenton Thermos Super. There's no way. That was I I thought it was just gonna be like every you know, like every other ghostly whale or like a like a like a like a double punch off stage. No! Hit him with the super, it's done. It's over. Goodbye. See you later.